In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can build these curtains. These are the curtains I was tasked to make for the NVIDIA's physics-based minigame demo called Marble RTX. The demo was revealed during the GTX 2020 virtual keynote, and you can find the link in the description. As you probably already know, creating an environment scene set in production is usually a collaborative task. In this case, we would need to make some nice curtains for a pre-existing room. So, at this stage, we already have the windows frame ready and the proportions of the room locked. That's all we need really in order to proceed. This tutorial is going to be suitable for beginners, as we're going to cover a bit of interface, navigation, and some basic tools to get you started with Marvel's Designer. In this first chapter, we're going to take a quick look at UI and navigation. I'm going to use Marvel's Designer 8, as at the moment of this recording, I found this version to be the most stable. When we first install Marvel's Designer, make sure that you set your scene in centimeters and choose a navigation style that is suitable for you. You can set that by going to Settings, User Settings, User Interface, change the unit system to centimeters, and under View Controls, you can choose the navigation style that you prefer. Let's quickly go through UI and navigation. There are two main windows. A 3D window that is called Avatar Window, where we're going to see our simulations and the collision mesh, and a 2D window where we can sketch our patterns. On the top right corner, you can find the object browser that is something like an outliner in Maya. On the lower right, there is a property editor that allows us to edit the properties of the selected assets. The tools over here are used to construct our 2D patterns, and these tools are going to be needed to interact with our 3D garments. When it comes to navigation, I have set my controls to Maya. So to rotate, I would press Alt and left mouse button. To pan, Alt and middle mouse button. And to zoom, Alt and right mouse button. And the 2D window has the same controls. Let's see how we can draw our first patterns. This polygon tool allows us to draw freeform shapes. Just click on the canvas to start sketching. To close the shape, simply click on your first point. The Rectangle tool allows you to draw rectangular shapes. The Ellipse tool allows you to draw elliptical shapes. To select or move patterns, we are going to use the Transform Pattern tool. To edit individual edges or points, use the Edit Pattern tool. To create curves, use the Edit Curve tools. If you need to add extra points, use the Add Point tool. Now if we go to our 3D window and press the Simulate button, you'll notice that the fabric starts simulating and being pulled by the gravity. At this point, we can start interacting with the garment by just left mouse clicking and dragging it. Alright. Let's have a look at how we can block out our curtains in the next chapter.